Here's a little more info on the worms. Since I've had these, I got these. I got these in early summer, um, like in late June, and they got got really hot, and a lot of the worms didn't make it because of the heat. Also, I think some of them got out because they didn't like it when I put them in there at first. I guess you got to get them used to it. You got to let them um, make sure they don't get out because they can crawl out of there, and they did. Anyhow, it's uh, December uh, 19th, Saturday, and what I've been doing is um, feeding them regularly. It's like it says to do here. Give them table scraps, you know, like uh, potato skins, banana peels, uh, orange, but you don't want to give them too much citrus. They don't like citrus that much. And just basically chop up your your leftovers or whatever veggie leftovers. You don't want to put any meat in there. And and they eat it. The worms do. And yet, Well, normally you'd cover that with newspaper because of the flies. So I've had a problem with flies. But it got really cold and this is what I've been using. Um, keeping them warm is this charge controller here. It's a for battery. It's a battery charger for charging this uh, AGM battery bank that I got. And right now it's it's putting a, putting out about well, four amps, three and a half amps. So what I do is it's basically I'm plugged into the grid. Plus I can also at the same time using my um, solar. And here's these here's some books I've been I used. <laughs> Got, them, got these books on Amazon.com. Power with Nature basically tells you how a solar setup works. With you know, got another book, Gold Solar. It's helped me out a little. And here's some books on um, rainwater. Um, using rainwater for your house water. So anyhow, this will go to uh, 15 amps too. Right now it doesn't have very much of a load on it because I'm not really using anything. But like if I turn this 75 watt light bulb on with the inverter, yeah, it should it should move my dial a little bit here. And it's going up to. Uh... Sorry about it's blurry. But... See if it's going up at all. And it has these dip switches. You can you can change the dip switch depending upon the um, the kind of battery you're using and how you want to use the charger. If you have a constant load on it and you want to leave it on, uh, that's what I do. I have it just uh, off off for 13 and a half volts disabled battery with load. That's a pretty nice little charger. It keeps it, like I said, I'm using it because it's it stays warm. Like I'll be watching TV all night with this on, and it charges the batteries, and then the batteries run the inverter. So I'm compensating a little bit because it's dark now. Cause I don't want to keep my batteries in good shape, so they're always available. Even if the power goes out, I'll still have this thing won't work, but the, at least the solar panels will still be charging charging the battery bank which I have here. These are this about 200, 220 watts or 210 watts from the Siemens uh, 54 55 watt panels in in in, uh, in parallel. I'm using solid copper wire from that to the panels to the charger and then I'm running the running the charger back down to the uh, to the points on these batteries here. I drilled I drilled through the rod here and then I have the, the other wire coming in here from that. That's where I'm getting most of my power from my solar. I'm then I'm getting a little bit from these guys here too. Which are the um, the amorphous silicate. Yeah that's pretty much uh how, I, how I'm doing on here. I got a bunch of other panels I gotta install them. I got a nice sharp 80 watt here. I got this on eBay. 
Not a real deal on this one. This is a nice one. It's really putting out a lot. And that's the 53 watt Siemens. It's an older model of the same ones that I already have out there, but it's only 53 watts. It's got a different um, open voltage, open circuit voltage, different pa pa different voltage a little bit. And here's the Car Carosera. It's an 80 watt Carosera. I got this on eBay too, along with the other ones I've gotten on eBay. Got a pretty good deal on this one. Kind of. It doesn't seem to do very well when it's low light though. I need to, yeah, you can see I've been rigging in the, you know, those little connectors for wiring. I'm trying to use existing wire I already have laying around. I don't want to have to buy wiring. So anyhow, I got those on there for safety. And I got these new, um, I got these two new charge controllers here from uh, Harbor Freight. These regulators here. And they, they're 7 amp. So it was nice because I already had all this wiring from these um, from the Sunforce kits that I already bought. They came with extra wiring, and they happened to fit these connectors. So I cut one in half, and I made a battery, two battery connectors with alligator clips, and uh, and then uh, somehow the Carosera isn't putting out power as much as the Sharp. The Sharp's doing really nice, and so is the 53 watt. But somehow the Carosera, I need to. Need to find out why it's not, or maybe it just needs more sunlight. I guess. Hopefully, maybe on a sunnier day, I'll get that and check it out. But now, since it's dark and it's it's almost a solst winter solstice, it seemed like a good time to do this mess around with these because there's no not a lot of charge coming in <coughs> in low light levels like it is now. So a little bit safer for me, anyhow. That's low down on my system where I'm at. Feel free to comment anywhere in the comment area, or just send me a note or whatever. So, have a good one.